Hi, welcome to uh, Broadway Market at uh, Finn and Flounder. I'm here with my colleague at Paul. I'm going to show you how to cook and prepare fish and uh, hopefully go through uh, the quality and uh, the produce that we have in this shop as well. So I'm going to talk you through um, smoked haddock and um, how to kind of cook it. Now this is a really nice piece of smoked haddock. This, um, well I suppose one of the, the the, the main areas that you'd see it from and, and the most well known is Grimsby. Um, these are smoked in Grimsby, um, and, but haddock is caught pretty much all around our coastline. Um, what they do is they, they smoke it in a kiln. Uh, it's obviously becoming a bit more industrial now where they, they put it in, into a kind of electric kiln and then they shut the door similar to a fridge where it's sealed and then smoked. But traditionally it would have gone with uh, oak chipping and would have been strung up. Uh, and, and left flat like that, or it would have been strung up like this, hooked at the top. Now, you can buy dyed and you can buy undyed. This is undyed smoked haddock. And the way you can tell it is because the actual dyed, it has a real, real yellow tinge, a, a very, very sh kind of strong yellow. You can see this is kind of slight, off opaque um, yellow. And it's difficult to explain. We don't sell the dyed one, because they use colorings. Um, a lot of the, the, the colouring ones now are more natural. The best way to cook this and what it's normally used for is fish pies and maybe fish cakes is to poach it in milk. So you can leave the skin on, cook it in, in normal milk, same skimmed or, or, or full fat for about kind of four to five minutes and then you just flake it off um, and then you can either roll it into fish cakes or you can put it into your fish pie. Um, or, it's, or it's used with um, kind of poached egg and uh, used for the um, alternative to uh, breakfast.